Oh my God, Bitcoin ETF is going to get approved tomorrow. Tomorrow. Have you missed the boat? Is it too late for you to get in now? Whoa, 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 wait. But all the media are saying that Bitcoin ETF is going to get denied. They said that just two days ago. And isn't that why Bitcoin prices crashed to 40K and even below 50K on some exchanges like Pablo has been predicting? Well, even though I predicted the price crash, but I'm telling you that is not the reason. The Bitcoin ETF denial is not the actual reason why Bitcoin prices crashed. And now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with the real Bitcoin ETF. See, as I have been predicting that the price of Bitcoin was going to crash with down to 40K or even below 40K. That was a number of like last week, right? That's because the exchanges have too many longs, leverage longs, long positions, right? And therefore, they need to clear them out by tanking the price before the ETF of Bitcoin is likely announced. How likely? I've been saying it's 90% chance plus. So by tomorrow, which is Friday, US time, right? The 5th of December, sorry, the 6th of December, or by next week, Monday to Wednesday, which is the 8th to the 10th, because they don't work on the weekends. There's a 90 plus chance, right? That the US SEC is going to approve Bitcoin ETFs for BlackRock, for Fidelity, for a number of these companies. The bigger question you should be asking is, if it is approved, which I think is 90 plus chance, will that be the top? top because there's something called buy on rumor but sell on news because people have been anticipating this anticipating this is it priced in already look at this this is bitcoin listing on the chicago mercantile exchange right price runs up when he's getting an official listing when it lists on the day that's the top of the entire 2017 2018 bull run and throughout history we've seen this happen again and again and again this was coinbase being listed on the nasdaq exchange right Bitcoin tops at 64K. And then this is the Bitcoin futures ETF launch, right? Again, it basically tops Bitcoin at 69K, right? And then see here, we have, you know, Bitcoin leverage futures ETF launch. And that also proved to be a short-term top. And now we're heading into Bitcoin spot ETF launch, right? Approval, which could happen like, say, Friday, which is tomorrow. Or it could happen, say, like, you know, Monday to Wednesday next week, right? Because SEC doesn't work weekends. Could it be another top? Usually, I would agree with that line of thinking and say, yeah, you know, it's been hotly anticipated. So when the day comes, everybody who could buy Bitcoin has already bought, right? Everyone already knows that Bitcoin ETF is probably most likely 90% chance going to get approved. So everyone who wants to buy Bitcoin has already bought. So when it does happen, it's probably going to be the top. But however, this time might be different because all the big Wall Street money, big institutions, the hedge funds, the retirement funds, the insurance funds that wants to buy Bitcoin cannot buy because unlike you and me, they're big Wall Street institutions and they are legally, they have to be legally compliant. There are rules, legal rules telling them what they can buy and what they cannot buy. And if the SEC, US Securities Exchange Commission, does not approve a ETF, then these Wall Street money cannot buy. So one theory says when it is approved, Wall Street, right, can then start buying. Either way, it's going to be a very, very interesting situation, right? Pablo, myself, has been calling this a bull market, not just in Bitcoin, but in altcoins for over two months now, right? The bull market, the bull market in Bitcoin call came out in January this year. What happens when Bitcoin is approved? What happens next? Follow Pablo for more updates.